Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. And together we are the Gymfluencers UK. The gym we're trying today is Thunderflower Elder Blade Blush. <laughs> Elder Bay Blush, that's the one. <laughs> there you go, well done. Now, who are Thunderflower? Who are they? Well, they are an amazing little distillery from Devon that were established in 2017 by Annika and Dominic. The name comes from an old Devonshire legend that says the tiny white thunder flowers that grow on the thatched cottage roofs can ward off both lightning and witchcraft. Ooh. We should grow some on our house. Why? Just in case. Anyway, Thunderflower Elder Bay Gin is made in London Dry Method with botanical flavours extracted by vapour infusion. They then use Dartmoor spring water. Oh, look at there that! There you go. They distill the London Dry Gin using vapour infusion and marry the juniper. See that? Marry the Fine. juniper. <laughs> I know you did that before. Um, with signature flavours of elderflower, bay leaves, amongst other traditional botanicals, they then infuse this gin with rowan berries, hawthorn, gorse, and rose hips. And do you know what? My rose hips oh. don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, it comes in a 70 centiliter bottle with an ABV of 42% and costs £38. Today we we're making a gin and tonic using, using, using Cornish, Cornish tonic, tonic water. water and garnishing with some berries. Thank you for helping me out there. As always, I we're trying up. it neat first. <laughs> now, we've reviewed a few of their gins oh. and we, we did say that we'd met them before at... Um, at Junipalooza, but we were lucky enough to spend an entire day and an oh. evening with Annika. Oh. Um, and it was brilliant and boozy and oh. fun. And um, we had an amazing, amazing time. And it's good when you actually really like the gin of the person that you're with, because otherwise it would be really, really awkward, wouldn't it? Um, and we had such a fun time, didn't we? It's also very handy if the person that you're with can drink as much as you can drink. Yes. If not more. Yeah. And uh, we had we had an amazing time and we, we hit it off. And, you know, all I've ever heard is great things yeah. about them anyway. Other distillers will speak yeah. about this distillery and say how good they are. Oh, uh, that's amazing. <clears throat> yeah, their company is amazing. Right, there we go. It's got a bit of a blush to it, Ooh, as you it can has see. Indeed. We've got our blush uh, oh, yeah, we tops have. on. There you go. There you go. Oh, oh that smells lovely. Mm. Oh, tingly. Now, you know what? When, because when I kind of saw blush before, I actually thought that it was going to be kind of sweet and berry-y, and it's not. It's actually quite complex. It's, yeah, it's not, it's not sweet. It's not, so. it's not sweet. There's a slight hint of sweetness there. It, this is actually more about, um, I'm the, getting a lot of, of juniper. Yeah. Yeah, and getting, we're just watching the cat. Yeah, the, the cat jumping all over. He always stuff. tries to get in there, um, and he always chooses the chair that's got all the stuff on it rather than the chair that's got nothing on it. He's like that. Um, but yeah, so so this this is this is really really lovely. It's got it's got the first thing that comes out is uh, juniper. I'm getting juniper straight away. It is, it is juniper, but yeah. I'm getting well, I'm no getting, no I'm getting kind of rose hips, and what what I think of is the kind of earthiness and kind of tartness of the rowan berries coming in and, and maybe even the kind of the herbaceousness of the bay i uh, yes to me it is it is definitely uh, <laughs> sorry i was just i was really enjoying that last bit <laughs> i totally lost my train of thought um yes it is i'm getting juniper but i'm getting a, a nice really nice dryness mm. there um i'm getting a sharpness and it is it's a bit Herbaceous. Are you getting a bit of menthol as well? Yes, it's airing me up. It's a bit because I was a bit, <laughs> I, was a bit out. I was a bit bunged up this morning actually, and this is. Oh, he, he ain't stopped moaning about it really. <sighs> I don't like talking about it. He nearly mm. gave me a heart attack earlier. He, he jumped out on me. He was lurking in a wardrobe, and then I didn't see him, and then then I turned around, and he's just standing there, and he went, <laughs> <laughs> and I screamed. Yeah, it was like it's not the funniest thing. <laughs> it things. was. It was hilarious. No, not really. No, it's not. It was for me. Anyhow. Anyway, this this is phenomenal mm. neat. Mm. This is really, really good neat. He's finished that, so let's put it with a tonic. Yeah, I could drink that neat.
So let's give it a try. Cheers, Oscar. Cheers, Scott. Cheers, Shakira. Hit the <laughs> line. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. Now that is lovely. We used a, we used Cornish a, a Cornish Cornish a Cornish a Cornish tonic water because it's that neck of the woods. This, this so is we your used first Navas. drink. I know it was Navas, one of our faves. Mm. Okay, yeah. So uh, I think it's quite heavy on the juniper. It still is. It still is, and I think all those flavours are actually amplified as well. It's not. It's not a berry type of. A pink gin. No, it's it's it, a sharper end. It's more it's more complex than that. It's it is it is herbaceous. There's there's an element of kind of sweetness to it. Um, there is a kind of almost. It's not even a summer. The cat's just knocking over all the, the cushions. Um, it's more. It's for me. It's more of a kind of wintry berry type. I, no, do you know flavor. what? I see exactly what you're saying there. It is. It is. It's got elements of berry, mm. but it's. You're right. It's not full-on summer style, it, it is. This it's, is autumnal for me. Yeah. I'm not gonna go down the route, but I will throw it out there like a cranberry sort of. I, do you know what? I, yeah, I You sounded what like you someone mean. just then. I, I don't know, I don't know who you mean. But oh. anyway, um, I, oh. I, I know, you asked me later. Um, I know what you mean, because there's a tartness to yeah. it. Uh, but there's a, there's a there's a complex in flavour. It's it is the cranberry end of berries, mm. is what I would say. You, you are right. You are right. There you but, go. Don't laugh. <laughs> but it makes it such an interesting flavour. It's because I haven't ruined my taste buds. Do you know today what? Do you know what? Somewhere. Shut up. Um, anyway. I, do you know what? And I'm on a diet at the moment. I'm actually on a healthy, <laughs> oh, I'm a healthy it's living hilarious. diet. Yeah. Right? He keeps on buying chocolate and things like that. I've got high cholesterol. I've got high cholesterol. Out of the two of us, I had the high cholesterol. It's like, how did it's, that even happen? It is unbelievable, isn't it? How Absolutely did that even unbelievable. Happen? He's cholesterol. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. His blood sugars. This. Perfect. <laughs> that. That. <laughs> that mess. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> and also, you nearly killed me for having a heart attack jumping oh, no. out on me. Um, no, this this here is, and I haven't said this in a while. This is not like another gin. This this doesn't have elements of another gin for me. So this is this is quite unique. A unique gin. Yeah. Okay, right. I see what you're saying there. Mm. And I think what what it does for me is it does separate itself from a berry gin mm. by being those more autumnal winter type of berries, Tart, but not throwing cinnamon in, you know, so it isn't like Christmas yeah. one. It's, it is a, a beast unto itself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think it should be well saluted. I know we haven't scored it yet. I think we should score it. Um, oh yeah. Wow. What we are going to do, we are actually going to try it. We're going to try the pre-mixed Negroni. And there's, there's a reason behind that because it actually has an ingredient for me that's one of my favorite drinks. And also, it's uh, it's a bit of a change up for him, and he really likes this. So we're going to bring it to you. Negr to Negroni's a very hit or miss with me. He's not a great lover of Campari no. a lot of the time. I mean, he, oh. he can he can take Campari if it's an exceptional gin in the Negroni, uh, an exceptional uh, vermouth as well. Right. Okay. Hold on. I just want to double check. Mm. Double check. I'm scoring this right. Yeah, yeah, go. Okay, yeah, yeah. easy Ted. Do you know what? I I haven't been disappointed with this brand. Mm. No, the first time we tried them, and yeah. I said, uh, <clears throat> was it? It's like eating a cloud. Yeah, and I absolutely fell in love with them. And we liked it when we tried it at Junipalooza, um, and then we reviewed these two, and then um, yeah, yeah, and then we kind of went out of Anakin, and then we. <laughs> We uh, oh. we'd now review this one, and you know Can we she drink or what? We did tell her you make a really really good gin, and you should be so proud of, of what the the gin that you have, mm. but also the standing you have with other distillers and and other people in the industry. It's, yep. it, it's amazing. Packaging looks nice as well. Yeah, non-offensive. Yeah. It's great. It's colourful. It's lovely. lovely. The way they're wrapped, really really lovely. Oh yeah, Attention the, you like that, the tissue paper around yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. I'll put that. that down there. Cat play with it later. Absolutely love um, that. Right, do your bits. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. Drop us a comment if you had any theirs, and we will oh, see you. I know, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? It's your first one as well. I have uh, uh, teeth falling out. And we'll see you in the next video. And stay tuned for the Negroni. Oh. Oh. Cheers. 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 <laughs> I think you can't have oh. any more today.